guys hear me okay? Yeah, can you hear me okay? Yeah! That's what I want to hear. All right, let's get this thing started. We want to thank everyone for coming to the Cross Country State Send-Off. Your support is greatly appreciated. This is the sixth year in a row that both the boys and the girls teams have qualified for state. During that time, the team has won five state titles, three runner-up finishes. My name is Coach Bennett. Thank you. All right, let's start off by introducing the managers. First up, we have sophomore Kyler Ayers. Come on out, Kyler. Next up. We have junior Reagan Kolaw. Reagan Kolaw, come as manager. And our final manager is senior Penny Ayers. Why are they not coming out? Are they coming out? Why are they, why are they not coming out? Okay, right, they're going to come out all once. Okay, now we're going to introduce the girls team. We're going to start off with the running alternates on the girls team. Let's hear it for freshman Ryan Borham. Next up, we have junior Jenna Gunter. And next up, we have senior Melanie DeCosta. DeCosta. And our final senior is Morgan Cook. Let's hear it for them. Uh, sophomore Erica Gruber also made the team. She is sticking with basketball. All right. Now let's introduce our state runners. First stop, running in her first state meet. It is feline, freshman, phenom, Emma the Cat. Lloyd, bring her out. Our next runner, our next runner was part of last year's state runner-up team. She was also a state qualifier in the 800 meter in track. It's sophomore Jillian, the Scooter, Skaliski. Our next runner is a junior. She was part of last year's team and an alternate on the state championship 2016 team. Let's hear it for Elena Icewater Freeze. All right, our next runner is new this year to cross country. She has been a standout on the girls' soccer team. She was the football homecoming queen. Let's hear for Peyton, nuclear winner. <laughs> next up, we have a six-year veteran to cross country, but running in her first state meet. She is a National Merit Scholar, the student body president. Give it up for senior Aria Virtuoso Ganaski. <laughs> Our next runner was part of two state championship teams. Last year's runner-up team, she is a chemistry Olympiad. Let's bring it out for Margaret Ivy Lee Drummond. <laughs> And our final girls runner, she is a state qualifier in the 3200 meter run and track, a past member of the state cross country teams, a national merit scholar. She is our team captain. Let's hear for Liza, chairman of the board, Williams. <laughs> All right, and that's the girls team. And now for the boys, two-time defending state championship team. We're gonna start off with our alternates. First up, freshman Morgan King. Next up, we have freshman Charlie Olson. Our next alternate member is sophomore Logan Brunel. Logan Brunel. Also a sophomore, Caden Taylor. Let's hear for Caden Taylor. And finally, we have junior Nick Hales. Bring it up for Nick Hales. All right, and now for the runners of state, running in his first state meet, winner of the Most Improved Runner Award. Let's hear for sophomore Michael Heartbreaker Brockman. <laughs> Next up, he's also a sophomore, running in his first state meet from the great running family. Let's give a welcome to Max, Maximum Velocity Wiggle. <laughs> All 
Next, we have a junior standout running in his first state meet. He was a state qualifier in track on the 4 by 800 meter team. It's the raging Cajun, James Boudreaux! <laughs> Our next runner is also a junior. He's been the top runner on the team so far this year, including his runner-up finish last week at the East Regionals. He was a member of last year's state championship team. It's Spencer, the triplet. Hey! Our next runner is a senior. He has worked as hard as anyone ever to earn a spot on this team, overcome extreme adversity and injury. Running in his first state meet, it is with great pride. Help me welcome Arrow, Crossbow, and Day. Our next runner is also a senior. He was a state qualifier in the 400 meter and 4 by 800 meter track. He was the fifth and deciding runner on last year's state championship cross country team. Let's hear it for Tyler. Quick trip, let's go! And our final runner, he is the team captain. He has been a key member of the last two state championship teams. He was a state qualifier in track. He has been our fearless leader all year long. It's here for Caleb, the Corn Husker. Adam. And that is your boys and girls team. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, and finally. The man that makes all this happen, let's hear for the head coach, David Ayers! David Ayers! <laughs> all right, let's give it up for the amazing, versatile, articulate, awesome, Coach Bennett! Five years ago, the parents started this send-off, and from that send-off, we have now, in the last four years, won five state championships, three for the girls and two for the boys, and I can tell you, the number one reason why we've won those state championships is all of you guys right here. Every time they come out and we have this send-off, they carry the energy, the passion, the love from this community, this high school, this administration, this student body, on the field, and they're gonna do that again on Saturday. You are the reason why we are champions, and so let's give yourselves a hand. Thank you so much for coming out here. Our boys have an amazing opportunity to three-peat, and uh, we're really excited about that, and our girls are gonna do really well as well, and we're hoping to take two podiums, bring back some more hardware back to you guys, uh, we have an amazing group of guys and girls who start practicing Memorial Day. They practice all summer long. They put in the miles. They put in the work. Cross country is a great testament to life. You get out of it what you put into it. It's the one sport where it's you against the field, and it's you as an individual against other individuals, but it's also a team sport. And so these guys, not only are they great people and great athletes, but they're great students because they have amazing uh, self-motivation so again i want to thank each and every one of you guys for coming out for cheering these guys on we're going to fight tomorrow for bruins we're going to fight tomorrow for bartlesville we're going to fight tomorrow for you guys and we'll hopefully take back and bring back some state championships thank you guys so much